Good morning. Um, this is just a bit of a follow-up to my four videos that were based around my search for my father's birthplace down at Moyes Etra, Castle Shane, County Monaghan. Uh, that home was vacated in 1937 by the McLeans and uh, it was sold and they came north, uh, those that remained. But you're probably saying to yourself, who were these people? What did they look like? Had the flesh and blood? Uh, so I've uh, been trying to dig out a few photographs, old photographs. Now you've got to remember that in those days, they just didn't take photographs. Um, and also in those days, any photograph that was taken was probably going to be very, very uh, formally taken. Uh, smiles weren't encouraged. It was probably the uh, stiff upper lip type look. Um, almost grumpy in, a, in appearance. Um, not like today. And very much posed and very much uh, wearing your best uh, bib and tucker, so to speak. So... Um, and perhaps these uh, photographs aren't quite reflective of uh, how life was, or maybe they are. Who then were the people who lived in this house in the late 1800s and early 1900s? This here is my grandfather, Andrew McLean. And this here beside him is Anne Whitcroft, his first wife. Now, she died and uh, Andrew McLean remarried uh, Mary or Minnie Carson. This here is a photograph of my grandfather, once again, Andrew McLean. Uh, he looks like a guy that you wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of. Um, in those days, the leading father figure in the house was the patriarch. And he ruled with, uh, he usually ruled with an iron fist. And this guy looks as if he didn't differ from that. Uh, this is a much later uh, photograph. I don't know why the rest of the, the family members are... are left out. There was uh, four more. But anyway, the guy over here looks a more easy going type of chap. That is my uncle Tommy. And up above is my Aunt Louisa. And over to the right is the only picture I have of my grandmother Minnie Carson or Mary Carson McLean. That's the only picture I have, unless I can discover some elsewhere. Down to the right is my Uncle Isaac. Now, Uncle Isaac, I met Uncle Isaac on many occasions, and you'd recognise him a mile away. His name means laughter, and I didn't get an awful lot of laughter out of him. Um, the guy appeared to have a huge chip on his shoulder. Maybe life had had uh, proved very, very hard for him. But uh, there's a family photograph taken from probably the uh, early 1920s because uh, Minnie Carson McLean died in 1926. This lad, this lad here is uh, one of the twins. There, were Tommy, there was Tommy and there was John. Uh, Tommy, this fella here, who actually is smiling in the picture, he went off to America and did well. Um, it probably was wise to get away from the farm. And the other uh, twin, John, he went off to Australia. And I just wondered, did they ever meet up together in later life? Probably not. Because in those days, whenever you said goodbye and there was that breadth of ocean and land between you, you, you never met again. Um, I have absolutely no pictures of my um, uncles or aunts 
or my father uh, in childhood days. None. This here is one of my very, very few um, photographs of my father in his young days. Um, this photograph was taken in 1929, three years after his mum had uh, died, uh, and he is 24 here. So this is Samuel McLean, my father, uh, from Moy's Castle Shane, um, probably living in Banbridge at that stage and uh, a young teacher, but still going back to the old farm at Moy's Castle Shane every so often. These four people here, uh, you, my uncle Isaac is up on the left hand side there and the other three are my Aunt Elizabeth and my Aunt Louisa and my Uncle Robert and they were my father's brothers and sisters and they were probably the ones who sold Moy's Castle Shane on to move north um, in 1937. This photograph here was probably taken in the in the fifties at uh, where they lived uh, at a place called Drumgar, um, just outside Armagh. So these are the people who uh, lived at Moy's Etra Castle Shane all those years ago. At this stage I don't have any pictures of my uncle John um, McLean who went to Australia and precious precious few of my father.